Hey, Minecraft Adventures. Uh, thanks for tuning in to the video. I hope you enjoy it. Ignore my voice in the first few seconds. I was half asleep, and it was 5.30 in the morning when I started recording. Enjoy the video. Good morning, miners and adventurers. Uh, welcome back to another ep Minecraft Bedrock Survival episode with me, Voidbreaker. What's going on, guys? Um, okay, first of all, as you can tell, the elephant in the room here is that... Uh, my skin is not the same. Um, I logged in this morning and I tried three or four times and for whatever reason I cannot load the skin pack. Um, so yeah, that's a thing that's happened. Uh, so unfortunately, um, this is our new skin now. Um, I don't know how long this is going to be like this, but it doesn't look too bad. It is what it is. Um, right. So uh, there was a, probably... Let's see, this is actually the second day that I've tried to do this episode. Um, I'll show you what's over there here in just a moment. But um, but yeah, I, uh, I've gone done a little mining. I've done a little, I got a little, um, little bit of diamonds. I've got another portal set up. Still haven't popped into the end yet to see what's over there. Uh, I wanted to get some meat first, so we got the food. Uh, we need to put our... Uh, chicken in there because I'll show you why I have so much chicken here in just a moment um, so yeah we'll put that in there and go ahead and I, I think the only thing we're just gonna be able to do is just pop right in there I've I've got to got to got to get to uh, got to get some um, uh, blaze rods now um, as you guys know in the first episode we found this lovely pink sheep it's the first pink sheep I've ever seen naturally spawn in Minecraft so of course I captured him and made him our own uh, so that I made a chicken coop, which you can see right here. Uh, it took this, this is white concrete that I made. I uh, made some pink, pink dye, uh, made some, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, made some pink concrete because I used the pink sheep and made, whoops, uh, made pink carpeting and white carpeting in there just to give the chicken something to walk on so they don't fall into the hoppers. Uh, now we've only got three chicken eggs. I've, I literally, I built this thing and I drug the chickens in, um, I probably drug about five of them in there and I just brought them all up. Uh, and that gave us what we got now. And once I did that, I basically just logged off. I, I, you know, I got, I got doing some other things. Life happened and I had to go do some things. So, uh, that being said, one thing I definitely want to do today is we're going to pop into the nether. Uh, see what's see what all that is. I need to get some. Uh, I need to get some blaze rods. I need to get some quartz, and we need to think about setting up a sugarcane farm. Uh, I've got a design from a guy named Silent Whisper. He's on uh, on YouTube. You guys can check him out. Um, he actually came up with a uh, zero tick quote unquote uh, sugarcane farm. For Bedrock, and as you guys know, Bedrock Edition, we do not have zero tick pistons like Java does, unfortunately. Um, but, however, he did, uh, he, he figured out that if you update a water block uh, behind the sugar cane, it actually makes it grow faster. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll probably get into that. I'll have to go get some more gold. I think I've only got, uh, I think I got like 20 some odd pieces, uh, but that won't be no big deal at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and just uh, enough of this babbling, enough putting it off. I hate going into the nether, so I've been kind of uh, kind of just babbling, kind of just, you know, doing random things like placing torches. So, yeah, let's go. Uh, as far as I know, also, they have patched that bug where if you eat going into the nether portal, it'll throw you, you know, God knows how far away. Oh, and you know what? I should have totally, speaking of, speaking of quartz. There's some right there. Amazing. We're already doing awesome at this game. I uh, should have brought some cobblestone, but it kind of is what it is. It doesn't really matter, I guess. So we'll just gather up some quartz here. Uh, I need to get a crafting table up and going. That's why I'm trying to get the sugar cane. Uh, because definitely one thing we're going to want to do here soon, actually, is go ahead and go defeat the dragon, the the, uh, the end dragon. Simply because of the end cities, I want some elytra. Um, we need sugar cane for paper, and uh, paper makes books, and it also makes rockets. Uh, once we get a creeper farm up and running, um, as far as I know, also they have patched that, so the creeper farms can actually be built now. And I've got a 
pretty good idea for a creeper creeper farm design so i will let you guys in on that once we get there but of course that is a few episodes down the way okay perfect now we've got that and we're spawned into a cave so which way do you think is out uh this way you said okay sounds good let's go this way then um i've got 37 quartz on me so i'm i'm good on quartz i think so we'll just kind of dig in a random direction because i really don't know which way to go here um and this is going to take a while apparently so i'm at level 106 okay here we go uh oh nope i thought we was getting out but i guess not we've got to be inside of a mountain in the nether so it might just be better and so we just keep going up a little 105 one yeah we're in the ceiling uh so what we're going to need to do let's just dig down let's dig down not straight down never want to do that especially in the nether uh so we'll just kind of staircase down this way and try to get down to a more reasonable height before i start trying to dig out of this mountain uh, i know i'm about to lose my pickaxe already uh nethers whoa okay see there we go perfect so we are out of the mountain uh might lose my pickaxe might have to pop back into the house real quick uh, to get that, I'm just trying to dig a way down because of, you know, don't want to fall, of course. So, are we down? I believe we are. Oh, and look at that. How advantageous is that? That is amazing. There's another fortress right there. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and gather up some of these, uh, some of the, some of the glowstone because, you know, can they can never have enough glowstone. Watch out for the pigmen. You don't want to swing and accidentally hurt them. They will aggro you for days. And they all will come for you. So let me gather up some of this glowstone, guys, and I will be right back. Hey, guys, welcome back once again. We are, uh, we've gathered up a little bit of glowstone. Um, I am about to step foot for the first time, well, in this series anyway, into another fortress. So here we go. And first thing we run across is a bunch of lava. <laughs> Let's go ahead and block this up if we can, please. I'm going to try to just encapsulate this and get it to stop flowing without making a mess and dying. Now, quick, this is awesome. We have a blaze spawner right there. So let's just charge in. We just need a few blaze here and just need a few blaze rods. And actually what we could do is we could also set up a uh, blaze rod farm. Uh, we are pretty close to a... Uh, um oh what do you call it uh yep mm -hmm. easy for me to say right we are pretty close to a uh uh daggone what's that biome called a swamp biome so finding the uh the slimes to make sticky pistons to make a farm is going to be pretty simple now i ouch what was that oh excuse you sir okay am i gonna die already really I guess not okay i did leave a path of torches up there put a bunch of torch spam right there where i can find it put a bunch of torch spam right there as well simply because i will get lost um i could of course wrote down the coordinates but i did not because you know why would you do something that smart uh there's another blaze right there take this guy down without dying uh need to eat nope don't need to eat need to regen uh if it would please okay that scared me i thought i was over thought i was over there for a minute um yeah, I hate coming in here, man. Everything in here just wants to kill you. Um, so what we'll do? We found a blaze spawner. We've got a one. We got one blaze rod. Um, I'll probably go down there and spend some time down there here in a little bit, just to gather up some more blaze rods. Uh, make it easy on myself. Um, but first, I kind of want to explore the rest of this place. I know. I'm sure this thing probably disappears into the ceiling here. Uh, nope, there's another blaze, rod, blaze spawner up here. That is amazing. Uh, okay, so we'll just take this guy out. Don't kill me, bro. Uh, so I'll tell you what, guys. Give me a few minutes here. Let me do a little exploring. Let me sit here and gather up some blaze, and we'll be right back. And we're back. Uh, we have successfully explored some of this nether fortress. Uh, I know it is absolutely huge. I should have brought um, cobblestone with me, but of course I did not. So anyway, uh, here's what we got, guys. I found um, some diamond horse armor, two, two pieces of that, some golden horse armor. I don't know what we're going to do with all this. Five diamonds, a few, few iron ingots. Um, we've got a... Uh, 
a few blocks of gold. We've got some nether quartz that we came for, glowstone, and of course, we've got 34 blaze rods. So that's a good thing. That's a good trip to the nether. And for some reason, I'm carrying around a stone sword. Probably got it off of a wither guy. Um, but yeah, no big deal. Uh, so yeah, we'll just toss that down there and we'll squirt back in here. Oh, and you know what I didn't grab? Um, soul sand. Do we need soul sand? Yeah, we, yeah, well, okay, I'll get, I'll get it later. No big deal. I'll pop back in here and get it later. Um, so yeah, we'll just get out of here if we can, like so. So yeah, we, uh, so we'll definitely have to pop back in here and get that here in a little while. Uh, we'll just dig our way back out here because, can we pick block? Here we go. Okay, here we go. Perfect. And this is kind of in an encapsulated area, and I didn't see one gas, probably because it's in such a closed-in area. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. Why can't I get out of here? Hello? Okay, th oh, there we go. All right, perfect. Um, and it is raining. Of course it's raining. Why wouldn't it be? Uh, okay, so we've got that. Let's actually do a little bit of, uh, okay, we need to gather the things we're going to need to build that sugarcane farm because I have the stuff I need to make the enchanting table. Uh, I'm just going to have to gather the stuff to make, um, the books so that's kind of what we're going to need to work on for now uh so let me get to whoop, that don't go in there you silly oh okay yeah i'll keep that on me i'm about to lose mine anyway those don't go in there those go down here i believe you are right, there we go uh we're gonna have to come up with a box for nether stuff and things uh not there how about here nope um eh, yeah why not we'll just go ahead and put the nether stuff in there uh organization is key guys so let's uh, put those away uh technically blaze rods are mob drops we'll put those in there i got a bit of coal probably again from the wither guys uh and a golden sword that we do not need uh okay perfect there we go so oh, 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 i got stuck here a little bit so we're gonna gather up the let's go to bed first Let's try to sleep and see if we can't get this rain to stop. Uh, and we'll sleep at night. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to get a little waterlogged. Hope we don't rust like the Tin Man. Um, we are going to gather up. Is this done? Yeah, you are. Good job. Uh, I'll keep that on, man. Well, yeah, I got to put the bread away. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to need pistons, uh, redstone, which we have, uh, smooth stone, which I can make. Um, we're going to need, what else are we going to need? We're going to need repeaters, which I can make. Uh, we're going to need an observer block, which I can also make. And we're going to need sugar cane, which are some there, some down there in that, those, that water. Uh, so let's gather all those materials and we'll be right back. All right. I have chosen the area. Got to watch that creeper over there. Chosen the area we're going to put the sugar cane farm is. I don't want it too close to down there just because... It's loud. At least I think it's loud uh, when it is running. So, um, see, so yeah, I see we're still not taking damage in those things. I mean, that's a good thing, I guess. Uh, but anyway, so what you're going to need is you're going to need a uh, an area that kind of looks like this. It's going to be about 12 blocks long, two blocks wide. As I said, this is not my design. Um, it is uh, Silent Whisperers, uh, so I am just uh, just copying it, basically. Just going to mimic it a little bit here. So what we need to do first is we need to put in our uh, our pistons uh, that are facing up, like so. And then we come around to the back here, and we're going to need, uh, oh, I don't have any. Uh, okay, no problem. We can do now. Redstone torches. Um, we're probably going to have to go get some more redstone dust to make a few more of those. And it's raining again. So put these right on the back, like so, like that right there. Uh, then you kind of pop a rack around to the front. And place these guys, if you can, on top. Yep, that's where I wanted it. Good job. Uh, on top of the torches. Now, it might be easier to go ahead and... Let's see if I can hit these things. Can I Can I, Can I? I get you? Are, are you a thing that can be gotten? Uh, nope. Apparently not. Okay, uh, so what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply take some dirt. Whoops. Uh, and just kind of go like this here 
and run a line of dirt across just to make my life a little easier, I think. I don't actually need all that. I just needed one bit. Uh, put another piece right there, like so. There we go. Then we can just uh, kind of connect like like that. Now let's get rid of that dirt because it's going to be in the way here in a moment. Uh, so yeah, we'll knock that dirt out of there. Okay, and now what we need to do is we need to put up a solid or a block to uh, block the water because there's going to be water in this. And you know, redstone water, not good bedfellows. So let's actually pop over here and just place these down real quickly. Uh, like that right there. Um, so we need to, and I'm going to use glass. But I believe the next thing that we need to do before we do that, I could really use some scaffolding. Uh, but I have not found a... I used all my dirt? Okay, no big deal. Um, I could re I've not found a, uh, a jungle yet. Do I have any dirt in any of these chests? No, no, no. Got a little more wood there that I could probably bring over to the house. That would probably help us out a little bit. But we got plenty of wood over there anyway from my brother and I's gathering excursion extravaganza. Um, so yeah, so what we're going to do now is uh, we need to add in... Oh, also, um, that took... Probably we're probably gonna need more dirt. I could really use some saint some grass blocks, but I, I think you can put can can you put uh yeah, you can plant sugar cane on regular dirt, can you not? Let's test it. Testing time here, hang on. Just because otherwise I'm gonna have to go gather up some uh Yeah, 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 yeah. You can do that. Perfect, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you can do definitely, definitely, definitely do that. No problem then. Okay, so we'll just pop up over here. Um, I believe the next thing we need to do, we need to add in the blocks. And then we need to put in uh, some steps. And uh, so we'll see, we need to put in here. Can, can we place that there? Thank you very much. There and there. Uh, there and there. And probably... Uh, we're going to waste that piece anyway. It doesn't matter. Okay, so now I've got some stairs here on me. Uh, let's put that away. Steps. Steps right there. Okay, so you kind of need to just kind of finagle these things around. You need them in a certain orientation. Don't fall off the block, please. Uh, nope. And I don't know why. Why is the thing's hitbox so weird? That's strange. Okay, let's uh, let's break this guy. And break this guy. Let's put in another block right there like so. And if we go like that, there we go, perfect. We go like this right here, all the way across. Put that water up there. Uh, we actually want to run glass back behind here as well. Uh, you don't have to use glass, you can use whatever you want. I just like to use glass because I think it looks pretty. Uh, it looks better than, you know, any kind of other material. And I've got so many extra materials now. Uh, let's see, we need to... We need to place like that, and can I reach that from here? Is that gonna? Okay, yep, that's what that's gonna do. No problem at all. Okay, so we'll just waste yet another piece of glass because you know, why wouldn't you? Uh, anyway, uh, so we'll put that there. And man, oh man, oh man, I got dirt. Let's not waste any more glass. I've got dirt. Uh, we'll just go like this. A little bit of scaffolding, something to walk on. Uh, piston, piston, piston. Here we go. We'll go like so, like that there. And then, uh, what we actually want to do is that dirt actually needs to go below that. So that dirt's in a good spot, believe it or not. So we'll put that dirt like this and like that. And now what we'll do is we need to get up there and need to make a way to get up here. And then we need to waterlog that. So you can waterlog steps now in bedrock, which is a good thing. Make sure it's not leaking out anywhere because you really don't want that to be a problem. So we need to waterlog all of those if we can. It might. Okay, let's make a small. Uh, where do we want to put this thing? Let's make a real quick. Just. I don't know if this is going to make it faster or not, but we're just going to put a real fast. Uh, infinite water source up there so we don't have to keep coming back down I'm sure it'll be faster in the end we'll find out uh, so we need to go there thank you very much okay give me that uh, I'm starting to starve a little bit no problem at all yeah it was night for a while man I got hit by so many mobs there's so many mobs in this area am I still hungry no 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 we're good 
Okay, that was weird. It looked like I was going to eat again, but I was like, wait a minute. Uh, put that there. We just got to remember where we're at. I don't know what will happen if we double flood these things. But that's three. Uh, we can say one, two, three, four. Oh man, I could have reached out from up there. It sucks. Okay, so one, two, three, four. There's five. Grab that. There's six. Refill the bucket if we can, please. Thank you. Go ahead and block this off. I think we're done with it. Okay, so that's basically the idea. Now, um, what we can do here is knock all this down like so. We got to go around back and do the redstone here. Now, uh, I made a ton of repeaters, as you can see. So we need to put all these repeaters down like so. Uh, I'm going to have to go run back and get more redstone dust. So let me do that. I'll be right back. Five seconds. Oh, I took damage there. What the crap? That's so weird. Okay, uh, five seconds. Give me, give me just five seconds. Alright guys, I got some regard one grabs some redstone. I got all the redstone that we have, so I'm hoping that this is enough. Uh, if not, I'm gonna have to take a little excursion and go mining. Which eh, whatever. Okay. So we've got our uh, we've got our, our repeaters laid down. We've got our repeaters going into the blocks, into the base blocks. Um, like that. Uh, see the idea here is as you can see the water in there. The idea is here to update that water uh, to get the piss to get the uh, pistons fire the pistons to update the water that's inside of the logs the logs the water logged stairs if I could talk uh, and that will cause the sugar cane to grow now there's a spider in our animal pen it's nighttime and it is raining so I'm gonna squirt over here and I'm whoa that was close um, you guys see that phantom just tried to dive bomb me let's go to bed uh, just to make it safe to work and it does and it's not raining on us raining is horrible 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 in minecraft it really is um so yeah we'll uh we'll come down over here if we can thank you uh okay yeah this house is gonna need, need to redesign rather quickly uh, we haven't quite outgrown it yet but it's just kind of a big pain in the butt um I thought it looked cool in the beginning. I mean, it does look kind of neat, I think, but it's just a humongous pain the way it's designed, the way it's set up. I would much rather have my storage unit, like, as soon as I walk in, dump everything. Oh, see, and then again, I wish Bedrock had the sorters that Java doesn't, but it does not. Okay, so anyway, enough complaining. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to put those away. I think we're done with those for now. We're going to build a small, uh, stable clock. And the way, the best way to do that is like this. Get rid of this block. Get rid of this block. Okay, there went my pickaxe. No big deal. I carry around another one for that reason. Okay, so now uh, we're going to need to put a repeater right there. A piece of redstone right there. And that repeater might be the wrong way around. Maybe. We'll find out. Uh, and then we're going to need one torch like so. Perfect. You see that thing working right there? That is awesome. Okay, so let's make a switch and just temporarily shut that off. Uh, so just so it's not so noisy. There we go. So yeah, just throw a switch down there. A uh, little switch right there. Shut it off. So it stopped. Perfect. Okay. Uh, now we need to think about our item collection system. So we're going to need a couple of chests and see it takes sometimes take damage. Sometimes you don't. And wouldn't you know it, there's perfectly two chests right here hanging out doing absolutely nothing, which is amazing. So we're going to squirt over here and we're going to put these down right here. Now you can expand this as much as you want. Um, squat down, put the, put that in there. Now we're going to need a block here. And then we're going to need to get out our comparator uh, coming out of there, reading through this block and reading that hopper because that's actually going to be the way we collect our, our items. Now, if we put a torch here, a uh, block, a torch there, block on top of the torch, and then another repeater, yet another repeater. Now, you know why I made so many of these things. Coming back out of here like so, uh, squat, whoop, not jump, squat in place, like just like that. And then we're going to need the... We're gonna need our powered rails, like so. So put one there and one there. Squat down, put one there, and we'll then we'll just do that the rest of the way, like so, just like that right there. Now, 
Uh, have I done this correctly? Yes, and I think I'm pretty sure you break this like that. Put that there. Then we can go ahead and put our hopper minecart down like so. And then, oh, <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, I think we're actually going to need a regular rail. Um, a regular rail right here. So what we're going to need to do is obviously I need to go. Okay, I need to need to break this, please. Thank you very much. I need a regular rail. Do I have any iron on me? Ooh, I do have iron. Look at that. Look at me being acting like I'm being prepared. Uh, honestly, that was just pure stupid luck from when I made the power drills. Uh, so we need just one regular rail like so. Uh, go ahead and give me another switch because we're going to have to power these other rails here. So we'll throw this down anywhere right there. Just flip that on. No big deal. Uh, we'll grab these. I made 16 of them somehow. Put that right there. Oh, see... Now see what it's done. Now we got to redo all this. Uh, no big deal. It happens. It is what it is, guys. No problem. Grab that uh, here and then here like so. Break this. Uh, let's come over here. Get a cobblestone just like that. Okay, is that all the cobblestone I have? Uh, it is, but I do have a couple smooth stones still. Hmm. I guess we can sacrifice some of these here because I'm just going to need like two more blocks of cobblestone, please, just to make it all consistent. Uh, put that here and here just like that and then we can go ahead and make our hopper mine cart once again And we can go ahead and just set that dude on there like that right there And he is moving boogieing on along. So now what we can do to test this is We can get some sugar cane, which we've got more down here uh, These have yet to grow because you know sugar cane and bedrock grows once every like 15 years It seems like so we're gonna pop up here like a so uh, um, okay, I tell you what, before we do that, let's shut that minecart off. So we are going to need a switch. Did I not make a switch? I swear to goodness, I made a switch. Hmm, yeah, don't see it. That's weird. Okay, moving on. So we'll, oh, that's right, I put it down over there. What a dink. Okay, put that there. We'll make a switch, like so. And then we'll just pop that dude right there and put flip that. Now, we are eventually going to wire this switch to that switch so it all basically controls it and so the must stops minecart there. Now, so we're going to plant some sugar cane. Uh, dirt, dirt, he's got the dirt. Okay, so we'll just go up, see daisy, like so. And go one, two, and three. Now, if we flip this, that should grow and it should work swimmingly. Oh wait, not that. We gotta flip the back switch. <laughs> Let's flip the back switch. Is that gonna grow? Are you gonna grow for me? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, let's shut that off so you guys can see how fast it grew there. Now, uh, doing this method will only get you ever two blocks tall. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a, uh, I got the glowstone dust. We're going to make some glowstone. We're going to put the glowstone up top, maybe one or two pieces, and surround the whole thing in glass. And that will make it so, and I can actually gather that and that and that. Now, um, I can plant these like so. Perfect. All that all that is all set up now. Now we gotta get up there and we've got to let's flip this back on because I like why I like watching this is so so good. Look at that. That is so good. Okay, we need to we need to build the mechanism that's gonna cause this to fire and um harvest it automatically for us so we don't uh, have to stand here and do it ourselves now with this farm you should get something crazy something crazy i mean it's like what is it like seven thousand or not seven thousand like a thousand an hour thousand sugar cane an hour which is absolutely insane so but it is that is awesome so um we're gonna need a few more repeaters we're gonna need some cobblestone which i just grabbed um I'll tell you, let's just go ahead and convert the rest of this into cobblestone you know i never you never know when you're gonna need it uh better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it so let's just do like this Okay, so we've got that. We'll just jump up here, and I believe we've got everything else we need. So the first thing we need to do is we need to put down our observer, our little buddy observer. So now, it needs to face that. So just like that right there. Then we need to get out a cobblestone, like so. And we need to build up like this, and here, and whoa, that hurt. Here, and I'm pretty sure we need to go out a couple more. So let's just go ahead and do that, like so. And then we'll get up there and have a look at it and go from there. So, it, hmm, of course, of course we can't get up there anymore. Hmm, sad day. Give him my dirt. 
scaffolding with dirt. Oh yeah. So 2012 Minecraft. Let's just go up here. Lack of that. Now, okay, so what we got to do is we have to, now that uh, every time the observer gets triggered, it will send out two pulses. So the problem with that is, is that it will cause uh, a fair bit of problem. So we need to put those on two ticks, I do so believe. Uh, we'll go in here and put this here and this goes here. We need another block right there eventually, but not yet. Uh, we'll put this into a block right here like so. Uh, we'll put a piece of redstone dust like that. Going into another repeater on three ticks delay. So we've got two, two, and three. And that should work to keep this from uh, pulsing twice. So it'll only hit once, break the sugar gain, and then be good to go. So what we got to do now is we got to take a piece of redstone like so and run it across all of these pistons. Now, you technically could run this right here into a uh, solid block if you wanted to save on redstone, but honestly, it's one piece, you know, whatever. Um, so what, now what we can do is we can go ahead and put a roof on this guy, uh, put it here, and just run it across like so. Now, as I say, you don't need the, um, you don't actually need to put a roof on it, but it does help. Um, and I don't have any glowstone on me. I'm pretty sure I put all that away. So I will add the glowstone later. I mean, this thing gives such amazing rates anyway. It doesn't, you know, it's no, it's no big deal right now. So we'll just go like this. Whoops, that's okay. Just break that. Uh, we'll go like this right here. And we'll come down one more. Because I don't want the sugar cane flying everywhere. I want it to fall straight down so our collection system here can pick it up. Uh, and just to make it look all right, we'll just go like that for consistency's sake. Put a couple blocks over here to block that in. Just be sure it's completely blocked in anywhere and everywhere you, th you can think of. One right there. And then we are good to go. Now, oh, uh, not yet. We need to remove this button, or the switch rather. Uh, we will send this with a signal um, into here. Now let me think. How, we, how are we going to do this? Because here and here. Is that right? Yeah, that works. Does it not? Yeah, it looks good, I think. Uh, turn that off. Perfect. Okay, so that works, guys. So yeah, we'll just stand here. I mean, you can stand here, AFK here. If you're going to AFK here, be sure there's a solid block above your head. Key from phantoms from spawning in. And as soon as that... Oh, wait. You know what? No, no, no. Hang on. Time out. Everybody stop. Uh, I forgot a thing. You are going to need... I'm going to need to get back up there and break that one block in front of that observer so the whole thing can actually be set to begin. So if we can just break this glass and that right there, perfect, all fires, put that back, come back down here, break that, there we go, now we can rock and roll. There it is, there's that, and the minecart will fire again, and yeah, it'll come over here and it'll unload, see it's unloading in the system right now, so that's awesome, everything's working out perfectly, everything's working amazing. Um, this is, as far as I know, as of right now, this is a uh, meant to be feature. I know it broke in the 1.13 update, but to be perfectly honest, what didn't break in the 1.13 update? Uh, so yeah, there's a couple of things there. We are going to, um, this is coming up onto the end of the episode here. Um, so, golden armor zombie over there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're, I'm going to sit here and let this guy run. I'm going to get all the sugar cane I can handle. You ever been making a video, knew what you was wanting to say until you went to say it, and then all of a sudden it just completely went blank? How about on the next clip? Enjoy the rambling. Yeah, we'll pop over to the end. We'll try to kill the dragon, but we need to make a... Uh, we need to get the blaze rods to make potions. We need these to make potions. Um, we're going to need health potions. We're going to need blast resistance on enchantments on our armor. We're going to need more diamonds. There's a lot to do before we go to the end still, but we're getting closer. This puts us significantly closer. And once the time does come for the end, then this will make it to where we can... So yeah, look at that. See the short three stacks in the short amount of time that I've been standing here talking. So yeah, we'll do all that and we'll get that going. Um, I'm going to breed up some more sheep. Uh, check on our egg farm. I'm sure. Let's, I'll tell you what, let's pop down here and check on that right now uh, since we're ending the episode here. Um, so yeah, in this episode, guys, we popped over to the nether. 
Uh, we got the blaze rods. We got some gold. We made a sugar cane, no tick sugar cane farm. Oh, um, and also one more thing. When you leave this area, be sure to shut that off. Uh, if you do not, it will cause major problems. It'll break and then you have to come down here and tear it all down and rebuild it. And yeah, so that's pretty much it guys. Like I said, uh, as far as this thing goes, I'll kind of give you a real slow walk around here. Um, uh, I'll tell you what, let's break the fourth wall. I'll go into creative and just kind of fly around it so you guys can see it uh, properly all in one shot. Uh, so yeah, there's that right there. Just in case you guys want to recreate this, um, feel free. As I said, this isn't my design. I picked this sign design up from Silent Whisperer. Uh, I need to break those two blocks there get rid of that. But, uh, but yeah, this is it. I mean, this is the amount of the awesome that is his design. So yeah, uh, but anyway, well guys, I appreciate y'all uh, sticking around this long. Sorry about the length of the video. Uh, I think it's a little bit longer than, I sh than it should have been. I want to thank everybody, like I said, for watching. Thanks for taking the time, and enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I normally don't say anything about it, but if you guys did like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want, uh, hit the notification bell so you can get all the notifications when things start happening. All right, guys, I'll, this is Voidbreaker, and I will see you all later.